You watched one YouTube video and you quit your job to become a hotshot driver. Here's everything you need to know. <laughs> All right, so I'm splitting this into three parts and I'm gonna try to like really, really be very thorough. And so part number one is everything you need to know about becoming a driver. Part number two is everything you need to know about becoming an owner operator. And then part number three is everything you need to know about having your own MC and having your own company. Now, I strongly recommend that you don't just go jump in and go buy a truck or lease a truck or whatever. You just go be a driver on somebody else's truck at first just to try it out. If you don't like it, no harm, no foul. You walk away with, you know, scot-free, you go get a different job, whatever the case may be. So highly recommend go be a driver first. So really there's only four things that you absolutely need and one of them may or may not apply. So number one, you gotta be at least 21. That's part of the insurance requirements. And number two, you gotta have a medical card. Now, a medical card is usually about 150 or 200 bucks. It's just a, you go get a DOT physical. And number three, you have to have a clean driving record. So, or else your insurance will be too expensive and you know, it's not worth it for the company to hire you as a driver. And then number four, and this is depending on what hotshot you wanna drive, you might need a CDL. And so those are the four things that you absolutely need. However, there is a couple of things that I would recommend. I would absolutely recommend you go get a Twit card. This is a transportation workers identification credential and they run a background check. And so if you show you a company that is gonna be hiring you, hey, I passed the background check, I have a Twit card that acts as a second form of ID, lets you onto bases occasionally and you can pick up at ports. So, and then I would recommend having your passport just in case you're really high up north next to Canada or down low in you know Texas or whatever, where they ask, hey, are you a citizen? And sometimes they ask for your passport. But that's basically it. And then you just gotta give copies of everything to the company and they have it on file. If you do all of those things, you are absolutely ready to become a hotshot driver on somebody else's truck. Let me know in the comments down below, you guys, if I missed anything, I'm pretty sure I didn't. And also, if you find these videos helpful and you want me to continue, hit that like button and go follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next one.